very beautiful for me, and now deer nuns are worrying of the village. You have a good imagination, you might be able to see some houses or maybe even some people in those stalagmites. And over here, you can see our guardian gargoyle column. You can see his head, a little beaten, his tail hanging off. Very strange. Now, in this room, I'm going to give you folks just a brief understanding on how these caves form. So, approximately 500 million years ago, we had a shallow sea covering the entirety of Colorado. In this sea, there were sea creatures living, and as they died, they dropped their bones and shells to the seafloor. Over millions and millions of years ago, bones and shells and sand, so they could creep together, and those shells were known as rhinos, which is what our entire cave is made out of. Now, going back 7 million years ago, the Rocky Mountains pushed up these sea creatures. Above this patch of holactites, you'll see another interesting formation known as the stalag light. <laughs> <laughs> now, this light bulb is actually very interesting. It was given to us back in 1907, and it is a Thomas Edison original. Wow, it's pretty cool. Now, it actually still works to this day. Back in 2007, we had a man come through with a one watt battery, and he was able to light it up. All right, any one questions? Watt. Yeah, you can. Some of the original tours going through in the 1880s, they would have entered into this room for our original passageway, see right up here. And they would have been crawling along the original cave floor, which was approximately five feet above our heads, where you see the rough meets the smooth. Now back in the 1960s, 1970s, we did something called cave pushing, where we pushed all the loose dirt and rock out of the cave and into these corners to make room for our water adventure room. In this room, the floors are made of dirt, so please watch your steps. Turn off all the lights so we can experience complete and total cave darkness. So if you have a